Hi, I'm Rob Story here in Nakona, Texas with Nakona Ball Gloves. Thank you for making your investment in Nakona Gloves. Today we're going to show you how to take care of it. Now there have been numerous tried and true and sometimes off the wall theories about how you break in a ball glove. We've heard, well, we'll put it in a steamer and sometimes you'll find a store that'll sell you that service. Or let's put a little oil on it and put it in a microwave. Not a good idea. We recommend you do it the old fashioned way and that's practice. You put your hand in it, you go out and you play, which is gonna help your skills and it's going to form the glove to your hand. And that's the most important thing is when you're breaking in a glove, you're stretching the fibers of not only the leather, but also the felt here in the palm. And so even if you're not out playing, if you wanna sit around and do this from time to time, this will help stretch the fibers in the felt padding underneath and help get that glove broken in more easily. Leather being a natural product, it needs to have a natural lubricant. And so we recommend the Kona Leather Treat, which is a paste type of treatment that goes all over the glove, soaks in, and moisturizes your glove just like you would moisturize your skin when it gets dry. And so with a paste form, it will slowly soak into the leather and then over time evaporate back out. So every two weeks or so, you just take it and rub a little bit more back on there. The biggest thing that we see that people let happen to their gloves is that they don't keep their gloves moistened and lubricated. They let them get dry and they start to break down. You want to treat your glove with respect, nothing harsh, no heat, nothing that you wouldn't put on your own skin. And if you take care of it, it'll last you a long time and you'll be happy with your knuckle.